No, no question. A lot of these moldy toxins are, you know, they, they travel through the walls. So you, you may not see, you know, mold in your wall, but if it's on the other side, um, the, the mold spores and the gas, the toxins they produce can go through. And so one, one thing that I want people to be aware of is if, if there's one room at, at home or work or in your car where you always feel sick after you're in that one place, start putting two and two together is even though you don't see it, there, you could have a mold problem there. But again, this is, this is an area which I don't think traditional medicine has caught up in general. So sure, there is recognition that, that um, there's something called aflatoxin and peanuts. And, you know, that's why, you know, people with aflatoxin get higher levels of, of cancer. Yes, that, that is, been, that's been scientifically validated. Having said that, I don't, I don't see a lot of doctors saying, you know what, if you've got a choice of nuts, don't eat peanuts. I, I don't see that, but but to me, that's a logical decision. Is like maybe peanuts aren't aren't your first choice, even though they're inexpensive. Maybe you know that shouldn't be your first choice of nuts. Yeah, but I mean, you could. There's a lot of different foods I'm finding that have uh, issues with mold. I mean, really, all the nuts seem to have some kind of issue. Walnuts, um, pecans, uh, uh, almonds, um, but then even fruits, you know, grow mold. Uh, vegetables grow mold, and uh, you know, different meats and cheeses grow mold. So it's really, I mean, it's and then you know, you can control it when you're at home, but then when you go out to eat or if you pick something up. Um, um, who knows what the mold profile of the food you're eating is. Right. And, and the first thing is I, I don't want to scare people. I mean, if you're feeling good and have no symptoms, I wouldn't lose a lot of sleep over this. But if you're having chronic neurologic or other issues, you know, it's up to you to try to connect the dots. Don't, don't wait for your doctor to figure this one out. You've, you've got to, you've got to do your own homework and, um, and, and, you know, I, I feel like I've got, I've got a leg up of most physicians cause I, I have these two degrees in biochemistry. I've been really interested in this stuff. You know, I, I know that many of the mold toxins are fatty. I know that, that some of them, like, I don't know if you've heard of like the trichothecenes, they can actually travel through your eyes back into your brain that way, you know, <laughs> through, through the fatty gas. Yeah, literally. Wow. You, you don't have to worry about eating nuts. I mean, if you're, which is why mold, and, and I find people who are mold sensitive, they know. You know, it's like if you, you go to a hotel room, you go into the bathroom, you're like, ooh, I, I, I can't stay here. Yeah. You know, there's, there's mold here. So, so, you know, trust. 